there's something about walking past a Chinese takeaway store or restaurant and seeing those beautiful pork fillets hanging in the window, sticky, glossy. That's char suey pork and I'm going to show you the really easy way of making it. So the first thing we have to do is make the sauce. And the sauce is really sticky, sweet, savoury, all those elements together with a bit of Chinese five spice. So I've got some hoisin sauce here, about 70 mils. Straight into a big bowl with 70 millilitres of ketchup. And that goes in also. Again, same amount of quantity. I've got some Shaoxing wine here. So we mix that all together. And this is the sweet element of it. And for some spice, we've got the seasoning of five spice, Chinese five spice, which has lots of different flavours with cinnamon in it, some clove. Really, really delicious. That's essential to this. And I've got some sesame oil. Now, I'll say about three drops of this. So it's probably about that. I've also got some soy sauce here, and this is the salty part of this. So I need two tablespoons. One, two. Also, a little bit of ginger, so I'm just going to grate that. This one's really nice and young, so I've just given it a good wash. I'm not even going to take that skin off. That's flavour there. When you've got a bit of a woody one that's out of season, then by all means, peel that. And I've got this really great grater here that makes it nice and smooth and not that chunky, which I love. Straight in there. And I'll give that a good stir. So at this stage, you want to have a taste just to make sure all those elements are coming through in the sauce. Mm. Oh, yum. That is beautiful. So now I'm going to reserve about a third of this mixture. And this is going to be the really intense basting sauce for this. What I like to do is just keep it in the fridge, keep it away while I marinate my meat. So I've got some Murray Valley pork here. So I've got the common pork fillet here, which a lot of people see in the supermarkets these days. So this is very readily available. I'm just going to pour the rest of that marinade on. And ideally, I would place this in the fridge for at least 24 hours, even 48 hours, just so all that marinade can penetrate through that meat. So I don't have time today. So I'm going to place it straight in the oven at 150 degrees. And this will ensure that it stays nice and moist and cooks all the way through.